Now, a couple years ago when I first started making YouTube videos about the GH5, I said this. Here's the thing. I don't really like using the V-Log color profile on the GH5. Do I use it sometimes? Yes. Do I have more color control? Yeah. Better dynamic range with the V-Log? Mm -hmm. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about why the natural color profile on the GH5 is my go-to color profile. But I have to confess, since the GH6 and the S5 II, things have changed. I'm basically shooting in full V-Log now. Here's why. But first, if you wanna learn more about Lumix cameras, like the GH6, S5 II, S5, GH5, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, everything I said in that GH5 natural color profile confession video still holds true. Like I wouldn't change anything about that video. And if I was still using the GH5 on a regular basis, I would still be using the natural color profile. And the first reason is I feel like I just get some really great colors from the natural color profile. You know, as long as white balance and lighting is fine, I feel like right at a camera, the natural color profile gives me some great colors. But with the GH6 and the S5, Two, you have the full version of vlog and the color and dynamic range is absolutely amazing now if you're not familiar with vlog it is panasonic's lumix version of the super flat color profile, which offers the most dynamic range. So the way it processes the image, you have 13 to 14 stops of dynamic range between the shadows and the highlights. So with the actual color profile, you don't have to make any changes to it. With the natural color profile, I kind of tweak it a little bit to get the look that I want. Now, if you still have to like pump out content for whether it's a client or whatever it may be, that natural color profile is still a great color profile to shoot in because it kind of skips that step from converting the footage from like that flat profile to a Rec. 709. It's a baked in color profile and so you get some really great colors right out of camera. With Vlog, you're gonna need to convert that footage in editing from that flat color profile to a Rec. 709 to get the colors and the look that you want. There's still benefits to shooting in the natural color profile. However, Vlog is going to give you the best image that these cameras can provide. With the S5 II, there is a dual native ISO. So even in low light too, you have that high frequency ISO that it's gonna provide some really good color, some really good images, even in Vlog. Another thing with the GH6 and the S5 II is that the 10-bit options that you have on these cameras make it super easy to shoot in V-Log. With the GH5 and V-Log L and some of the 8-bit options, you would get a lot of banding, especially in the sky. And even on some skin, you would get, you know, just some off colors there that would be not so great. But even with 420 10-bit options on the GH6 and the S5 II, I've not had any of those issues. If you have a computer that cannot process 422 10-bit footage, the 420 10-bit on the S5 II and GH6 is actually incredible to work with. And a lot of times for a quick turnaround, I've been shooting that 420 10-bit. And in fact, I'm using 420 10-bit right now on the S5 II to shoot this talking head. So there's some great 10-bit options on these two cameras, the GH6 and S5 II, that make it really easy to shoot V-Log and you get great colors, no banding, and it's pretty easy on your workstation. Another thing I've noticed with these two cameras is that color grading is kind of fun. Taking your image from that super flat color profile to a look and design that you want. With the natural color profile, there's just a few little tweaks that you need to make and it's a really quick turnaround. It's not as fast with Vlog. Now that I've gotten more familiar with Vlog, it definitely does not take as much time as trying to clean up some Vlog L footage from the GH5. And most of the time I'm just converting my vlog footage to a Rec. 709 with the Panasonic Rec. 709 LUT. It's the same thing that I monitor with on the S5 II and the GH6. So I already know what that image is going to look like 
as soon as I convert that footage in my editing. And then from there, you just make a few minor tweaks. If your exposure and white balance is correct, just make a few minor tweaks. And then you can start going for the look that you want with color grading. So on the GH6 and S5 II, V-Log has been so easy to work with and I've absolutely been loving the image and the look that I've been getting. But again, let me emphasize this. Everything that I said in that natural color profile video about the GH5 still holds true. I wouldn't change anything about it. It's just that with these new cameras, the GH6, S5 II, the new processing that's in it, I've been loving V-Log and I've been using it almost exclusively on these two cameras. So let me know down in the comments what color profile you're shooting with right now. Is it working for you? And going back and watching that natural color profile video, I was like, why am I not reading comments at the end of the video? That was actually kind of fun. So I might start doing that again every once in a while. Starting with this video, let's read some comments from a previous video. So I'm just gonna go back and read some comments from my video about the Panasonic Lumix booth at NAB from Las Vegas. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out right up here. Frank, our ice cold production says, and he's been around on the channel for quite a while. Panasonic S1H Mark II, please. I heard somebody was putting out some rumors about that. Don't always believe what you hear. Justin Mayfield says that Chucky thing at the end was terrifying. If you want to know what he's talking about, make sure you go check out that video. Reginald Desk, I think is how you say it. Did you have to pump terrible music over him talking? And I'm assuming you're talking about the music when Sean's talking. First of all, it's a music bed, so it's under Sean talking. And second of all, I thought the music kind of fit the vibe. And Raku Vision, nice video, just to know what camera and lens have been used, thanks. So on that Lumix booth video, I was using the S5 II and the 18 millimeter Lumix S Prime. That's an F1.8. And actually Dustin was behind the camera, so I wasn't doing like any vlog, but you definitely could vlog with that lens. And some of the shots I had a Cinebloom 20% on there just to add a little bit of diffusion. All right, so there's just a few comments from that video. Video, I thought it'd be fun to read some of those. Now, if you want to know how I set up the S5 II for video, all the settings that I use, make sure you check out the video that's popping up on your screen right here. 